he's like my best friend. He's like my best mate. But I also look at him as like a little brother. But I feel like his uncle. His uncle. <laughs> yeah, strange. Yeah, no, you're a coach, aren't you? So I think when you're a coach, I think you are, you know, the second dad. You are the best friend. I think you you are the. I think you're everything that they probably need you to be. to withstand a tremendous amount of pressure without cracking, without bending, without doubting any of your capabilities. If someone's mental state is, and it's not my day today, then every time it is, on that final stage and the big days there, they will find a, a way out in one way or the other. There will be an excuse. And that's how ultimately champions are made. I think someone's mental state is everything in professional boxing. to justify why a uh, why he didn't look like a 20 and old professional in his first bout you know, that's ridiculous so yeah it was his first bout it was his first fight as a, as, a, as a professional at 19 years old he had every right to be nervous <laughs> Yeah, all the time I think about future, what happens in future. Yeah. I, I boxing now for for future, not for today. If, everything what I do, like training, fights, is not for moment, for future. But what happens in future? I know I about bells. I don't care. I fight just for title. For, for, for name, not for, for just, and very world champion. Bells is metal. Constant first came in, he was 18 years old. He was 18 years old. He was sparring with men, super middleweights, light heavyweights, whilst he was 66 kilos, walking around at 66 kilos. And he, was, he, he would spar anyone, any man, any size, no matter of the power, no matter the strength. It would have to be me that said, no. What? 
and he's stuck in it, as he's stuck in it, it's part of the pump, so pump! Pump! Go, touch, touch, at the minute you're going, this is right, and then pump! Do that. One jab, you've done that. Next one, boom, boom, boom. And you start, boom, boom. Let's go again. <laughs> I didn't feel nervous into probably the ring walk for him. We, we trained well, we trained, we trained too hard really for it. We trained too hard. First time is, is hard. Everything you do first time is very hard. I have sparring and I feel nothing, just like sparring. I feel very, very good, I feel. I go on the ring, I have a competition, like a real fight. Oh, it's very hard. You envision, obviously, before the fight, knockouts, the hand being raised, cheering, celebrating. Family, friends running over, hugging you. Constantine didn't want that. Constantine wanted to obliterate Devin Danko. He wanted to embarrass him, because that's his mentality. He wanted to, he wanted to give him an absolute boxing lesson. But the truth is, he just beat him. Yeah, I feel upset because, because first fight is, is very hard for, for step. His first fight, fight, maybe I think what happens, maybe I lose his first professional fight. His Marley, his my family, his, all people come for me. It's like a responsibility I have, yeah, for, for uh, have a good fight. It's first experience, and I just think about what what happens. Maybe I lose. I feel very upset. That, that that's probably the over that's probably the feeling the, the most important feeling I suppose in 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 that contest in that fight that evening and probably at that stage of Constantine's career and for me that wasn't the uh, uh I'm not happy with winning it was more of a I've got to get back to work because I'm not as good as I thought I was. When I spoke to him the next day, we'd gone through everything. We spoke about many factors. He was we was both under the understanding that, that that moment was probably the best thing that ever that could ever happen. I think about fight and how I fight just one night. 
same night, I think. Bad or good. And I see my fight, I don't like. I think my head I need more and more. Yeah, I think about for more fights. And uh, I know I, I have more fights, more experience. I do better. Is not about people, it's about me and my head. Everything is in my head. Just I need to understand. When Constantine went back to that room and thought, let's go. That, let's go now. I know what this is. I know what this is about now. And that's the truth, mate. It might look like a deflated man. But realistically, that was reality hitting home that he needed to up his game. And then fast forward to the next, next fight in York or London. Different person that night, right? Maybe before I step a ring, I may have a little nervous. It's not too much. First fight, I feel very, very nervous. Too, too much emotion. Today, I feel right. Like a sparring. His whole aspect, his mannerisms, how he was speaking, was very confident. In his first one, it doesn't matter who was in that ring. In that back room, he was quiet. He was visibly nervous. It was quite obviously, it was quite obvious that he was an amateur boxer and it was his first professional fight. And in his second, it was a, I'm a professional, I'm gonna school this guy. He's not like a coach and boxer, just like two friends. Yeah, he young. He, I'm young, he understands me, I understand him. Like a friend. It's reassuring him, talking to him, trying to let him just uh, soak it in, just acknowledge it, trying to, rather than make a, a, a mountain out of a molehill, just ah, calm down. It's good, but yeah, it's good. And then his uh, response was, Marley, I'm calm, you calm down. <laughs> My coach, Marley, say all rounds, no stop him, no nothing, just boxing. And he come back to the corner, he, the fans was you know, shouting for him and he looked up and he, he, he was acknowledging what was going on around him. And... Yeah, I see people just, it's not like a first time. Second time is same nervous, just different. I feel I enjoy. I see people, people everyone yeah, watching me, people, uh, everyone I punch, people, ooh, everyone. 
I feel I, I enjoy. You know, you, know, you know when you've just got someone there that's got that bit of class, that little bit of something different, something special. You're not envious of him or you're not idolising him, but you, you just appreciate everything that they do. I, I don't like lose. I, just, I think just I need win. I don't know how, just I need win. More responsibility, yeah? Or maybe lose, people forget about you. Yeah. The boy that turned into the man. I think if you look at the first one, you will see two amateur boxers boxing each other. And if you look at the second one, you'll see a professional in their entertainment. And I think, I think he understands that now, and I think, I think he will really blossom, develop into that fighter, a real entertaining guy. I fight, and I think maybe I lose, and I, I still remember who I am, who, why, why I training. By, by, by living. What I, I like is uh, how I feel tired. I feel tired if, and I just work and boxing. And he tired is give me feel I'm living, I'm, I'm a human, I'm a real. Yeah? I'm tired, I boxing and I feel, I feel real.